All right, uh, this was sent into the channel by uh, PCB Way. Uh, they asked me if I wanted to review any particular thing, and I was very interested in these. So um, this is a DC electronic load. So uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I'm kind of a nut for DC loads. Um, I've got two store-bought ones and one home-built one. And, uh, uh, but this one looked real cute. So let's uh, open him up. He's a uh, M MDP-L1060. I think there's a series of instruments that are um, power supplies and monitoring and things like that. Maybe I'll get some of the other ones. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Oh, wow. Big, thick book. Uh, user manual uh okay it's just multi it's just multi-language okay miniware all right uh what's in the magic box here what is this uh cables and stuff and i guess that's it just two uh two banana Nice silicone, gold plated. Yeah, these look all right. Uh, copper plated, uh, copper. Yeah, these are nice. That's pretty good. Let's take a look at what we get. It's heavy for its size. It's got. Um, Real big heat sinks in it, big, big copper heat sink and two fans, so it should do the job. Big knob on the side, that's kind of fun. Uh, plus and... Interesting. There's an extra little connector here, I guess, if you want to hook it up a different way. Uh, let's see here, USB-C. I think it's, I think it has chargeable batteries in it. Let's see if we can make it go. Maybe not, maybe you have to hook it up. Okay, I wouldn't have thought that. It says press and hold both set and menu to turn it on. Oh, there we go. And it does have rechargeable batteries. So that's good, that's why I bought it. Um. All right, there's a wheel. Ah, there we go. You can set the, uh, set the amps, set the volts. Ah, it has ohm mode too. So that's constant, constant resistance for, uh, like battery testing and things. All right, it has four modes. It has a constant current mode, a constant voltage mode, a constant resistance mode, and a constant power mode. Um, so that's, that's very nice. All right, and like, like I said, these have a, a separate unit you can get that is a, a display. And it says there's a battery test mode that is available if you have the, uh, have the uh, display control unit, so. Okay, I'm going to test it with constant current mode. Um, you can turn the wheel for how many amps you want. I know this is really small. Um, how many amps you want. And if you want to go farther, you push the, the set button down while you turn, and then it's fast. So you can set, uh, how far does it go up? 10 amps? I think it's a 10 amp device. Yeah, 10 amps. All right, let's go down to something reasonable. Whoa. Let's go down to, let's say, half an amp, okay? And then when you let up that, then you have fine control with the wheel. So we'll do half an amp. Okay, I don't want to touch it when I'm, there we go. So uh, let's go ahead and put in our banana jacks.
And I'm gonna hook it up to my power supply. We will load my power supply. Okay, there. All right, let's put this up so you can sort of read it. So I'm gonna be testing this uh, supply I use all the time. Um, and uh, so we will get in focus and we'll say run. And uh, yeah, it is uh, half an amp, so it's 0.5 up there. Very nice. Um, five point, yeah, very nice. All right, let's see if you can adjust the amps while it's running. Pro oh yeah, you can. Oh, very nice. Uh, I'll put it up to point. S I'll put it up to point six. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so yeah, you guys probably want to see what I'm doing down here. Uh, so there's an LED that tells you you are uh, you are running. And when you're running, the little fans run. They're very, very quiet, which is nice. So you can see here that I'm at 0.99 amps. And if I just start turning the wheel, it says, this is what you're setting to, this is what you're measuring. So let's, let's put it at uh, 0.757, and there we go. So very nice, yeah. Okay, so constant current mode is very simple. It measures the... Uh, Temperature of the heat sink, I guess, also 27 degrees C. You hear that? It's really, really quiet. Super, super quiet. It probably will pick up speed as it gets hot. Uh, okay, let's uh, turn this off. Let's go to one amp. And that worked fine. Let's uh, zoom it up to two amps. And our heat sink's at 30C now. Yeah, those come in real handy. I, I do like my other ones, um, especially the one that I built. Um, but this will definitely take the place of the other ones that I bought. And I think I'll probably use this a whole lot more because it's battery powered. Um, the other one's kind of a pain because I have to get it out, I have to plug it in. And since this one is just rechargeable, I can just grab it and go. So yeah, this is this is super. This is a super easy. I like it. 35C on the heat sink. I think let's see, let's see this power supply will go up to three amps. So let's go up to let's go up to three amps. Okay, let's try constant resistance mode. I have it set to 20 ohms, okay? And I'm gonna be putting 20 ohms across the battery. All right, so we will say run. And then I will put the, oh, this is kind of hard to do with, I need to have a battery hold. Anyway, there we go. Um, so it's 1.28 volts, 67 milliamps, 0 0.85 watts. And so, yeah, it's out, it's a uh, loading it down with a constant resistance. So this is great for battery tests. You can see how things, la how long things will last and, and uh, whether your battery is holding up. You can see the batteries, batteries fluctuating a little bit, but yeah, it's, it's holding on just fine at, at that. So let's, um, let's turn this down to say 10, 10 ohms. Okay, we'll do 10 ohms. And now we've got 132 milliamps. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. So I'm sure people are curious how much, uh, what's the capability of this thing? Let me put the camera over. 
Um, let's see here. Battery capacity is 650 milliamp hours. I, th I think it'll last a long time, actually. Um, maximum load input voltage, 60 volts. Okay, so 10 amps and 100 watts. There you go. 60 volt, 10 amps, 100 watts. That's really all you need to know about these things. Um, the constant current mode goes between 15 milliamps and 10 amps with one milliamp of resolution. The um, constant voltage mode goes between 0.1 and 60 volts with 10 millivolts of resolution. Um, constant resistance mode goes from 10 milliohms to 4k ohms, 10 milliohms of resolution. And constant power goes from 3 milliwatts to 100 watts, uh, 10 milliwatts of resolution. So it's a capable, capable little device. Uh, remote compensation input port. Remote compensation. Maybe that's a sense line. Yeah. So this extra connector on here is a is a sense. Ah, that camera's too close. Uh, this is sense line, so you can have remote sense, and they call it compensation. Anyway, I really like it. It's part of a. Uh, it's part of a set that this company did. They have. Oops, that's the Chinese version. <laughs> Let me. Uh, here we go. Uh, they have a. Uh, this is the electronic load module. They have a power supply module. They have a signal generator module, a power charger module, a battery pack module and then a display control module. If you add the display control module to this, you get more functionality of it. It has a uh, dynamic pulsing and you can turn the load on and off and things like that. And it'll graph with time. All right, here's the insides. Uh, here's this beautiful copper heat sink here. Um, there is a board, little fine little wires here going to a thermistor down to the, down to the heat sink. Uh, here's the battery, which, uh, no, th th those are all fans. Those are fans there. I'm not sure where the battery is. Uh, I think you can see the heat sink is, heat sink is pretty big on this thing. The battery's tucked up underneath. I don't want to take it, any, take it apart any more than this. Um, it does have bl uh, a, a Bluetooth or some type of Wi-Fi thing here. That's how I think the modules communicate with one another. Um, I don't know if you can contact it directly and... If there's software available or not, I, I don't know. If somebody knows, comment down below. Uh, but yeah, what's the, what's the microprocessor being used? Uh, interesting, it's an ARM device, a Giga device. It's a GD32F303. So, capable processor. Anyway, that's my review of the uh, MDPL1060 DC electronic load by Miniware. Um, it's a super cute little size, and uh, with my garage where space is at a premium, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's nice.